Question eight is the same as question number seven, but we're just working with a different polynomial. We are still factoring, so let's get to work. I have x squared minus five x minus six. So let me get ready by putting two parentheses first. Start off with the x squared, and of course I'm going to put x and x because x times x will produce the x squared. And then let me look at negative six and then think about two numbers. When you multiply these two numbers, they become negative six, and then when you add up these two numbers, they become negative five. And then you can go run through all the possibilities. Let's say negative two and past this past this three, but th that that will work, right? Negative two times past this three will be negative six. However, negative two plus past this three it will be past the one, which is not equal to negative five. And you can just run through the com um. These combinations, and the correct combination is negative six and positive one. Negative six times one is negative six, and then negative six times、uh, plus one is equal to negative five. And it doesn't matter where you put the um, which order that you put into a parentheses. I can put a negative six right here. I can put a plus one right here. Doesn't matter. And this is pretty much how you factor. This is、um, factor by guess and check, trial and error. And we have answer choice B because I see I have x minus six the same. Okay.